What up, lovely people? I'm back. Let's do some more Red Dead Redemption 2. So, um, we got to Oshu Overlook yesterday. We showed a couple of a couple of guys that were online. Um, some locations for some easy gold around the base area that you that you're at there. Um, I think starting out now uh, I think I'll finish the, the missions it's given me per the start of this chapter uh, and then I think we'll go running around getting maybe some more gold and do it that way and that'll be the that'll be the plan So let's get some chow first. Much appreciated for the link, Patrick, but that's kind of not my thing. But um, I, I just stream because I like to stream. I don't, I don't stream because I want a bazillion followers. I mean, it'd be nice, but you know, I do it because I want to, not because I need followers all over the shop. And I most certainly won't be buying followers, mate. That's not not what I'm about. So. I've got Avi up there. Okay. So I think we'll go with Uncle because he's going to take us into Valentine more than likely. And then from there we'll be able to do. the uh, Avier mission as well, so that kind of two birds, one stone. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Good job, Mr. Morgan. there ready go see uncle should be asleep here somewhere knowing him ow, ow, ow. careful not to work yourself to death there uncle I was thinking yeah does it pay well oh, eventually so while the rest of us are busy stealing killing lying fighting to try to survive you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. 
you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Here. Let's get. Yep. There we go. I'm just checking picture on me on my tablet as I'm streaming and I don't think that looks very good quality. Just let me quickly refresh it. See if it's that. That's better. Get this RC back to him. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> 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 oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. 
Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I thought I'd seen everything. All right. Here we are, Not just it? like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Do, 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 do. Let's get some coffee then. Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. What a liar. <laughs> hey, dear. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world. You know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. I got you now. Stop! Help! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. 
You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! What an ass. Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. My landlady's damn bank closed shop and ran off with her money, so she ain't crazy around on us pool. Can I help you, sir? Okay. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. The bank. The bank. That might be something to keep my eye on. Let's see what else this guy's got in here. Probably no, but you know. Worth a check in, as soon as I was sparked. Uh, just as I thought. Ain't got shit. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. We ain't a land yeah. just prove we're here for each other. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, oh no. Anyone? What an ass. Took me out with a bail. <laughs> Watch this coming on <laughs> Just test me out with a bail. <laughs> he actually he actually turned and like took me out. But he just kept facing it way wow that one happened. <laughs> I'll try and avoid the bail guy. Drop this arse, is turd. Wow, 
Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent. In this year old mind. Come on. Let's get this crappy ass back. Nice now, that mission had gone a bit better, mate. Might have got a gold off that one if that guy and I took it. <laughs> a bail. Have a mission to do. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are you about to pal? kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer! Let me hear you! I'm just trying to be the bastard! Oh, come on! Uh, we can handle this! Uh, Baco. Stop dancing around and fight. What the hell is going on down here? No, Tommy, stay out of this. Come here, you little greaser. Let's handle this. Yeah, you like a girl. Good old bye bye. Oh, yeah. 
down, bitch. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? You're going down in the mud. Oh, this guy freaking <laughs> fell off. Right, think go nuts. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! I don't think so, Trelawney, yeah. after robbing the Charles, place. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Lord above. Oh, hell. Attention! Well, I thought they were about me there when I first came in, but apparently not. So it 
goes. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk. Just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Right, I should have put all them on on black belts there anyway. So let's find the rest. Excuse me. That that's definitely put them all on now. One, two, three, yeah. Okay. So we'll get on us and we'll go back to camp. I don't think I should have put run past on then. Just, just that quick. There's a an house.
Hello, mister. We got a long way to go, huh? I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, Paul. Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. I I'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. <laughs> Boy. Okay, let's keep his eye out for a few things, aren't we? About to camp. Is it? I remember it saying it was low on food, so. when they was talking up life in a gang. I don't think you should just be wandering around here, friend. Run! There you go. Uh. Kim Mouse is on the fritz, I think. I have to just change battery quickly. Where are we here to base? We're on right, we're on right path. Shine in there. Little rabbit. A little rabbit. I'll leave that one be for now.
normally some birds around here. Maybe too, maybe too late at night or early morning for a month, I don't know. Number two. No turkeys, no birdies, no no. Oh, this is a bit shit. Oh, is that a turkey? Yes, we have two. Well, at least food's showing up now. Gone from note to summer. Yep. I'll go get that other one. I've got two there, apparently. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.
Yep, yep. We'll take this back for camp. Another turkey. Right. Now we'll go to camp. Who goes there? It's me, Arthur. Bill. Dumbass. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Donate these group a group up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Please. Come on, you brought me in, help me. Morgan, Herr Morgan. Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Okay. So... Uh, we'll go do them missions. <coughs> The class and they're easy. Yep. 
kick me out for some easy stuff somewhere. That looks like some deer. I don't know if this one's better than that one or that one's better than this one. We'll get both because there's some over there to check out. Easy boy. Gotta be done. So what I want to try and take. I'll stop. Every time my buddy move, it moves. I like we're a book, I think. Right, well. It was a book. And a three star book. Oh, yeah. old enough to Let's go see what's over here.
Oh, excuse me. Ginseng elixir, take that. You got in your stash box. Wow. Tin of vegetables. I do believe that's all that's worth. But I do believe that were a pheasant. There it is. Right, let's make maneuvers over that way towards the mission we've got. This thing like a good good game around here. That's a bit of something we can use that. Hey, 
behind you. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut up and keep still! I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a... Is that close to one? That one, straight up the road. What we want. Three stars. Oi.
they didn't go too far, but I think they're going to be Bushwa, a one, and a two. There's a buck, perhaps that's it. How did that get up? Little shit. Let's go, boy. Ooh, the schools. Late arrivals to the party. Ooh, I've got bed. Yeah, I'll have a drink. <laughs> Fiance just scared the living piss out of me. Just trying to be nice. He does that quite a lot. <laughs> you might, you might see that more often, guys. She, she likes to do that as much as she denies it. There's a few of my mates who'll vouch for that after airing it over years. Concrete in the gum. <coughs> um, no in there that's worth having. So I think this has been a pretty, pretty shit camp so far. 
Oh, that same loot on. This guy. Big fat note there now. What are you saying, Mr. Book? Three oh, star book and I missed it. Render shot. That box long gone. This place worth looking at. Two oh, crap ones. See what's down here.
Oh yeah. Pity books. Like it. Some of little secret stash put away for safe keepings and we'll just come along and have, have us way with it. Take a bit of time. Oh, wrong button again. Just been delivered for me. She's a good one, is mine. Papa one scares me after death. Right. There's some over there. Are they no deer? Yes, they are. As if that missed. It either just went over it or under it. Deer there, just chilling, not even bothered. Easy. 
Take that one as it's a muck because it's got arms on it that'll give me a bit more money for what I get. So. Same guy, I'm old ranch here. Sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn murder. Son of a bitch. So, that one's paid. That's his next one. Yep. Oh, just to make life trouble in there, it's a bit easier around here, I think I'll just go. I hate it off here.
Hello there and welcome. Nothing like a fresh start. Okay, boy. Okay, so what has this to do with? Do you check Matthews? Oh no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shot. Damn it! Hey, get back here. You owe us money! Bastard! Should we just look here, that? Yeah. There's the tree. And there's the money. Money, money, money. You I thought. The fuck? I was just told about that other day. I didn't realize it was this house. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. 
You foe. Apparently coming to this house at night time, guys, gets you a UFO visit. And there's a bunch of drawers to take with cigs and gum and stuffs. If you need all them things. I can't believe I just got buzzed by you, a UFO. What's in the chimney? Nice bottle of aged pirate rum. Oh yeah. See a box. Guama rum. Volatile dynamite pamphlet and a bill full of twenty dollars. That'll work. So that's that first two done. That leaves us with that guy who's over there. The robo. And I get a nice new arse there as well because I'm making his arse. First, get the bearings. Load up. Can't you twat? There's a, there's a canyon just here somewhere guys I think it's at the back of that where that smoke's coming from there there's a sheep in it
You twat. Why did you have to look up? a couple of unexpected bruises. I'm sure that's that canyon I need. Ring on her. There you go. Gold wedding ring. You can't skin the sheep on that, so I think it's got something to do with that ball being on it or it being an asset in the game for looting that way. So you just chuck it over your arse and get rid of it at base for food. can do oh, yes yes just lift as hard as you can oh thank you thank you you saved me oh that was bad okay sure uh, i could have been stuck here and starved or eaten oh you poor dumb animal oh What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well, oh, Mildred, good from Jane. Thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am. Oh, oh yes, Mister. Please, thank you. 
Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. We'll need to go on a horse. On, uh, would you mind? There's not space enough for me on the horse. Well, I cheap. Why'd you stop? I can't get them saddle back, so I'll just get her back to the one. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband. Well, it's just me and my. Oh, God! I'm sure it is. Uh, please, get back on the horse. My leg is starting to swell. So she says and then gets, gets off and runs away. And you got it wrong way to Valentine's way. Ah, it's this way, not that way. But what do I know? Time to go, boy. Anywho. Yeah. Please move to go to what we actually should be doing. Sort of puts in around with her. Well, that were a nice surprise book. The place I don't know. Right. Yeah. A fire that's on the top of this. Gonna be a bush coat.
So that little jaunt up there was kind of wasted, but not really. Okay then. Come on. Out of the way of the tree, stupid ass. Get that in his journal. Okay. Oh, the bread. Knock, knock, Mr. Rope. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. Here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? 
Well, no, have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. No, 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 no. Please, no. Don't have money, but... But to have this, it's, it's good, it's good, it's valuable, it's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things, okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes, it's very valuable, good? Not good yet. Must have come here with some. Longer I look, the madder I get. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Something somewhere. Don't even speak English. Nothing. I believe that's going to be the case in all these. I'm not going to find no really worth having. Przepraszam, nie, nie rozumiem. Move aside. Rzusakom nie można ufać. Moje kańce też. Co do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things. It'll cover things apart from a like your horse in here, so I'm going to nick that as well.
I really like this breed of horse. I don't know. I think it's just colours, but it's it's fast. It's got stamina. It looks cool. I like it. There's arguments are plenty for what's best horse in game and blah blah blah, but I just say go with what you like. Get me bow right quick actually while I think on. Because. I won't be able to on that. With that horse having me saddle on this nut. Still that one. Get on our horse set. Get the one to follow us. There's some more. Some more meat. And we're going on these debts into Strauss and get a couple of deer to take back with us. Maybe try and pick up a few turkeys on the way as well. Four turkeys and two deer, plus a load of everything else that we've got is pretty good. Good all I'd say. Apparently that one it wasn't come down out of them shots.
There we go. Okay, girl. There's a deer. How the fucking hell, I can't believe that missed. Oh, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Oops. Let's head back to to camp. We'll pick a deer up on where. I'm sure. Uh, that duck which we had earlier when we first crossed to go up there. There you go, that's super turkey. Not now. Good God, took some shooting, did that one. I swear to hit that at least twice. Take it back for Pearson for Stu. Mr. Deer, or Mrs. Deer, rather. Let's 
Kill it. Yep, yep. Come on. Yeah. Now we just need a couple of turkeys. No turkeys there. chicken will do. with that. So that Ava woman, she's sticking around? Looks that way, for now. You okay with that? Sure, I guess. She's had a tough time. Evening, Arthur. Evening, Susan. Look at all that blood on you, you boys. It's getting bad. If I 
were you. Many thanks. Thank you for the money. turn for the worst when I took up with morphine and opium. I was born with some evening. No, don't want to do that on ledger. Buy some billets and some elf stuff. Fuck camp. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Herr Morgan. Man, our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Right. Ledger. Okay. Purchase that as well. Then I'm a Time for a shave and a change of uniform, but I'm just going to take that opportunity just to quickly up to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Let's have a shave.
actually pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people were peasants starving in a field someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job, is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, but go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope, that hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up, all of you, cheer up. Like that coffee work. Right, what missions have we got about? We've got to do Leopold Strauss's last mission, and then we'll come back and do Old Granger. Or Emmett Granger, or whatever they call him. Yep. Yeah. How you doing, boy? You okay, boy? Okay there. Fucking Irish twat. <laughs> I fucking know where ship is in then. Not that I've got out against Irish people, guys, because that's where my family's from, so... Time to go, boy. Just to figure a speech. Yeah. Easy now.
Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Uh... Ah! Believe me, sir. I didn't... A little patience is all I require. <laughs> Dead looking now. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Now I'll have to come all the way back to get my arse. <laughs> I think on tomorrow's episode, if I do, I might spend it doing treasure maps and puzzles and gold. you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money then people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions of course I'll pick up the arse.
gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please! I've been on the run. Is he enough? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I... I got no money to give you, but... I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Yeah. That might be Watson's cabin, wouldn't that? Might, might, might do that one. It's a bit to that mission, though. She's got four, three or four boys as well. Each of them you can do something with, I believe. I'll we'll have to check that out. On Tube of the U, if I uh, do that mission, just to figure it out, because I might have to knack them all and tie them up and take them somewhere, one by one. Where the fuck's this taking us? Oh, it's not at Downs Ranch, not fucking all the way over there. Won't take long, boy.
May as well make this trip worth it. Sounds like goats are back. Just wait a second, girl. It's a free star pig that. We'll take that one back with us. Cook us up some pot. Why did it drop that? It said it, it literally said stir. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Moonshine. I got a card. And that's about it.
Hey, girl. <laughs> Go in house and see what we've got in there for me as well after and then we'll run off back to base. Go do that Granger mission. Take this grub back first because he's got pigs there and we can bring two of them back. Hope you're enjoying this little playthrough series so far, guys. I quite like this game. I'll uh, I'll do my best to show you some some stuff I've learnt through playing it, and some uh, where some gold and stuff are. But I will I will say that the spoilers before I do it, because if you don't want to watch it, I'll see it. You know, you should have opportunity not to. Or at least I'll try and remember to. That's all the goatings. Now in that wardrobe.
Rala. Drop this pig and oxide up at the base, and then we'll go do his Emmett Granger mission. So we'll get a, three or four more pigs at that. Sentiment I'm familiar with. Fair enough, kid. Strutting around, nose in the air, holding hands with that dumb. Hold on, kid. You expect to win this girl with all your belly aching? Be a man, son. Hey. I'm plenty, man. Thank you very much. You wait, Lily May. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll be rich. A nice big house. You'll be begging me to court you. Maybe I'll just stay here forever. Waste away like some fallen leaf. Crinkle up. Wouldn't that be nice? Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. All right, girl. Yeah. Leave that there. Quickly run over here. Good morning. Granger.
don't want to involve yourself with this. I need your money, tough guy. Don't try nothing dumb. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Just minding my own business. You goddamn I'm idiot. I'm gonna enjoy robbing you, tough guy. Hand it over. See you in here. Ah! Ah! I'll make this quick. Ah! Come on, the girl. Look at this. Hey, you. And this is where do you want? we've uh, get three more pigs and some chickens. My occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be is correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God ah, damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals? I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, you saw. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. A killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my life. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer. 
Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't need no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well. Seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away. Don't do it! There you go. <laughs> no. No. No! You did not! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. I was watching guys, say hi. I know who you are. Chicken to stone, then we can move on to Piggy Winkles. May as well get all we can from place. What little of it there is. Just 
throw it up. I put yesterday's video up on my YouTube, but actually on Twitch itself I got like 38 views or something like that yesterday, which were like one of my best videos ever. Pretty pretty good with that, I mean, if not my best ever. Really chuffed with that. So, at least at least people maybe think it's a good series and are tuning in, so I quite, quite like that. So thank you very much for that guys. I just in case you, you're here and or you watch it later make a point of saying thank you Don't think he had much. One on each arse, and I think I'll carry one back. Pointless wasting them. As we're close to base. I think we learned something about Mr. Granger here anyway. He's on his own, he's no hands. He told us that in that film intro, intro bit. And then you come over here and you quite clearly see that he's got dresses on line, so I think he cross dresses. Maybe just on weekends. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
beating on me every day. I had no choice. Talk all you want, lady. It won't make no difference. <clears throat> Prison transport, keep clear. Do do. Just replying to a few things on Gilded, guys from the Ark service. So we have two, two PVE Ark servers within our community. We also have a Seven Days to Die PVE server in our community, and we've just got a Red M server, um, basically to try it out, but. I've Figuring it's just pretty much going to be like a role play thing that we can do there, so I might have to look into that. Maybe get a bit of help of people who know stuff about role playing because it ain't my strong suit. I mean, it's still very new, so I'll hold stuff for it, options wise, and that and that. Plentiful.
Clean that blood off of you, you fool. Have some standards. <laughs> Come on now, Pearson. You know, my mom used to make something like this when I was a girl. She did? Yes. I hated it. How are you, lady? Pearson? Hi, Hi there. That last two I had was pretty damn good. Glad to hear it. We'll make a cook of you yet? Yes, yes. Got the Kieran and Ozea missions and a bounty to pick up up there, and then Blackwater to me. Oh, yeah, we'll do the Kieran mission. You okay? Right. <laughs> 
So the cannon mission then. It is a little, little rat. Help me. Speak to them for me. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> hey, rally. Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horse shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? <laughs> I got this. Should be fun. All right, you. Come Fucking on. Trying to geld his balls off. <laughs> Hey dear. Oh, we're getting far as someone belter. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs. How you doing, Rally? Where we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he said. Yes. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. I'm with you, bro. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I I'll jump on Gildy tomorrow and we'll have a proper sure job out there. Running. You smell like... God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. I'm gonna be getting off shortly after Boy, this mission, I think. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How are you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. See, old Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. <laughs> Bill, you still got those tongs? 
I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I I'll make good. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right then. All right. Oh, the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. What? This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. Fun, it'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? 
one by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. Jesus. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter.
What you hold in O'Driscoll? You ain't gonna check the cabin, and I will. The boy said Cole would be in the cabin. Yeah, boys, I'm checking the cabin. Chill the fuck out. I'm getting some stuff first. You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as oh, killing me. Nathan. Out there? <laughs> Without you? Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. The rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Kieran ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are.
least you got something tucked away. Six hundred bucks. Have a look at what they are. Because we're about to. to camp. Oh, China.
That kitchen was completely useless. I'll teach you for fucking jumping me wolves. I know, I don't like killing them mad, but... They bring, they bring good money to wolf first. And they did attack me first. and leave them if I can. He 
sometimes see them off in distance, you know what I mean? So you don't have to attack them. But if they attack me, they have to, they have to die. Because you lose everything. No, you you collect meat off of it when you harvest it. They're just they're just corpses that don't do it. I mean, I could I could take one of them back if I didn't have that elk skin on back of my horse. But um, you can use you can use carcasses for stew. But you take all you take all the best bits of them off. This is that game I was telling you about, Mad, where they have all snapping turtles, alligators, snakes, spiders, flipping... I got buzzed by a UFO early. I went into this house where there were loads of people dead in bed. I got buzzed by a UFO. Started shining a green light at me going... Like, what the... F <laughs> went out to have a look at it and it took off. Set in eight, 1800, you know what I mean, in Frontier. It's quite in depth, actually. This game there's a lot. There's a lot to it. get in there so we are there and we need to be there we didn't save
Violet Snowdrop. Oh, ginseng. See what I mean, madman? Lots of stuff to, to kind of learn about. Pass all the bollocks and straight down hill. Oh, shit up, bitches. <laughs> Oops, didn't slow down in time. Morning, Mr. 
Morgan. Morning, you fat twat. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. You all right? Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Good. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. Good morning. Hey, Strauss. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Chores like this, mad in camp because it boosts morale, you know, all your people around you. Hey, Bill, did you find much in the old Driscoll cabin? Hey, I can. Yeah, it's a there's a bit there's a bit to it in terms of like stuff and how you interact with people and what you do and that it's so it's almost like playing a story out. I really like it, me. Can kind of get lost in it, you know. What I mean, just going hunting and fishing and.
Thank God somebody's doing some work around Mr. here. Swanson? Hello there. not smell a campfire again. I think it's in our skin now. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well... Feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Oh, and it's crashed. So I think that's a good time to call it a night. Okay guys, thank you for joining in and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.